Now, the Eurozone has entered its second recession in just three years. 17 nation regions' economy contracting by 0.1% in the third quarter, followed on from a 0.2% slimming down in the summer. Now's we're in technical recession. Figures from France showing growth there of just 0.2% over the third quarter. Germany, traditionally the powerhouse, also 0.2% its growth, but it's not much of it. Spain's economy shrinking 0.3%. From the previous quarter, Italy's economy stumbling as well, uh, contracting by 0.2%. So, more on this, let's talk to Martin Kerrig, uh, European economist at the uh, Economist Intelligent uh, Unit. Martin, evening, evening to you. I mean, it sounds pretty pessimistic. Is it as gloomy as it sounds? Well, actually, yeah, it is. I mean, it's actually probably going to get worse. Uh, I mean, if you look at the figures, I mean, the headline figure is a contraction of 0.1%. But uh, if you look at the uh, figures from different countries, you can see that there's a huge divergence between the core countries of so Germany and France still growing and kind of lifting growth or easing the contraction. But if you look at Spain, Italy, and Portugal doing really badly, and also Greece um, had its 17th consecutive contraction, which uh, is, of course, a sign that the southern periphery countries are suffering much more. But also, if you look at, for example, the Netherlands, which is kind of usually a, a trade powerhouse and also a, a key core country of the Eurozone, contracted by 1.1%, and that's the largest contraction since uh, 2009. So um, even the core is now clearly affected. And the outlook looks gloomy as well. If you look at Germany, the labor market has deteriorated, manufacturing orders are coming down. So, you know, the core is also really in trouble now. Uh, Martin, fascinating you mentioned Germany. That's the one that uh, I think troubles a lot of people, because if Germany heads into recession, well, that's kind of all bets are off then, isn't it? Yes, exactly. I mean, uh, Germany has so far uh, done actually quite well. I mean, exports outside the Eurozone have been quite robust uh, for Germany. Uh, so that has kind of um, counterbalanced the uh, effect of, of the uh, decline in the Eurozone. But now, Germany, private consumption is also deteriorating. I mean, consumer confidence is, is coming down. As I was saying, unemployment is rising in Germany, which previously was one of the major factors that contributed to robust domestic demand in Germany. And if you look at the um, uh, other countries, such as the Netherlands, which is very much reliant on exporting to Germany, then you can see that the Eurozone is really heading for another uh, year of decline next year. Right, Martin, we can see the... Uh Canary Wharf Towers uh, are behind you there. Uh, what impact is this going to have on Britain's growth? Well, if you look at the UK economy, um, the Eurozone is the most important trading partner, and Germany is the single most important uh, trading partner for the UK. So really, um, uh, UK exports are going to suffer, and the UK, the, the whole UK strategy, I mean, the government's strategy is to rely more on uh, manufacturing and exports uh, an investment rather than on uh, domestic demand. And th that's really bad news for the, the, the uh, UK government's growth strategy. Uh, yesterday, uh, the governor of the Bank of England said he still thought we'd get 1% growth in 2013. You look at these figures and you start questioning whether we'll get any growth, don't you? Yes, exactly. I mean, um, if you look at global growth as well, it's uh, pretty weak. I mean, and the Eurozone, as I was saying, is the most important trading partner. So there's not really that much um, that, you know, you can hope for in the UK, but, you know, could drive growth. Of course, um, labor market figures are improving slightly, but now exports are deteriorating. So it's very unlikely that there will be much growth next year in the UK. Okay. Martin Curry, uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us today.